In this specific video, you're going to learn how to control spam comments in your WordPress blog. So, for example, any time that you're running a WordPress site, if you go to the site, you can enable comments. So, if somebody reads your article, for example, and they want to make a comment, they can do that. However, you want to make sure that you control the way that comments are made so that you lessen your spam. Because in all reality, there are a lot of softwares out there that allow people to basically spam or find a blog that uh, is not really protected and simply spam the blog. So you definitely want to take some measures to control the spam and do your due diligence before you allow people to comment so easily and abuse your blog. So if we go back over here to the dashboard and to access the comment controlling section, if you go under settings here and you click on discussion, the comments and so forth, the protection starts from here. So other comment settings, it says comment author must fill out their name and their email. So by default, that's checked. And that's definitely what you want because if, if they can just fill out, you know, a comment and that's it and get away with that, then you're going to get a ton of spam. And this one here, if you check this, this means that users must be registered and logged in to comment. Now, this can kind of be a roadblock. Let's say you want to get a lot of people to comment on your site. And if that's the case, then that kind of presents a roadblock for people because they have to register first, then they have to log in, and then they can comment. So it depends on your site. If your site is a site where you want to keep it quality based and you want to keep it where it's exclusive to people who take it seriously, then that's something that you might want to think about doing. You can do that. Uh, however, that's, that's your choice. That's just something to keep in mind, but that can be a roadblock for people who want to comment, but they don't want to comment because they don't want to register. This right here is automatically close comments on articles older than a certain amount of days. So let's say, for example, that you have an article that, let's say, after a month, you want to close all comments on that specific article. You can do that. That's an option. This here enables threaded nested comments five level deeps. So what that means is that it allows people to comment on a specific comment five levels deep. And of course you can increase that if you want. And break comments into pages with 50 top level comments per page. So that just shows, you know, how many comments do you want per page? Let's say you have a hundred comments per page. It's going to take a little more time to load that page. So if you have that many, then that's great. But you might want to think about splitting those up. It says email me whenever anyone posts a comment or a comment is held for moderation. This is good because then you can kind of maintain, you know, who's posting on comments on your blog and have that comment held for moderation. I found a lot of times that a lot of spammers will just spam your blog. And within a day, you might get 10, 20, 30 spam comments. And unless those comments are held for moderation, you know, you're going to get a lot of spam on your blog. So you want to definitely take precaution, you know, measures to prevent that. It does take a little more time, but, you know, you will keep quality in your WordPress blog. Here it says, before a comment appears, an administrator must always improve the comment. Or comment author must have a previously approved comment. So that basically means that 
if you check this, you have to approve the comment every time. So normally I check this so I can moderate and just make sure the comment you know, is actually a real comment. This one says comment author must have a previously approved comment. If this is the case, then if you approve the comment from a previous author and they comment again, then they should automatically be able to comment. This here is this comment moderation. You can hold a comment in the queue if it contains two or more links. People love to make comments because they get a link back to their blog. And that's often one marketing tactic people take. However, in this case, you don't want people to abuse your blog simply because they want a backlink to their site. So you definitely want to look into this. And this here is comment blacklist. You can actually blacklist comments if they contain certain content. For example, you know, bad content, adult rated content, and so forth. If you put the keywords here and they make the comment, it'll blacklist that comment. Now keep in mind that it's probably better just to have it where you approve the comment, but you can always do this as well if you don't want to do a lot of moderation. This here is avatars and and that's it in terms of controlling spam comments in WordPress.